Mailbag time here on the Chiefs Report. I'm your host, Harrison Graham. Let's jump right into Isaac Murphy's question here. Do you miss Sammy Watkins since he was always good in the playoffs? Do you think he would have had a more productive season in KC? If he's healthy, he if he's fully healthy, he's obviously going to be more productive with the Chiefs and the Ravens just based on the style of offenses they run. Uh, but that doesn't mean they should have brought him back. Uh, if I knew he'd be fully healthy, I'd love to bring him back because I think he's a good number two wide receiver in the NFL, but he just he just can't stay healthy, guys. Uh, obviously, he was great in that 2019 playoff run. He was good in the 2018 playoffs as well, but we saw in 2020 that he couldn't stay healthy. Sure, he played in the Super Bowl, but he barely even played because he clearly wasn't right. Um, I think uh, it was a nice run, but uh, I think that chapter is closed. Kevin Durantula, do you think – uh, do you think we are unstoppable? Is that what you're saying? The only way they can lose is if you have a good running back and play action. Well, some teams have that, but uh, yeah, I don't think any team in the NFL is unstoppable this year. I do think when the Chiefs are humming, they are the closest to that we get. You know who else is close to that when they're just absolutely humming? I think it's Dallas because Dallas gets a lot of takeaways, and as you guys saw against Washington, when that offense goes, I mean – 42 points in the first half and gets a pretty solid Washington defense. Like, that was impressive, guys. Like, Chiefs-Cowboys Super Bowl, I think it's something that uh, could happen and would be very entertaining. Uh, but, uh, you know, no team is unstoppable. Chiefs had their, their issues earlier in the year. Dallas had a stretch in the middle of the year where they weren't playing well. Uh, Green Bay got blown out by the Saints to start the year. No one is indestructible this year, which is going to make the final couple of weeks in the playoffs very, very entertaining. But I do think the Chiefs uh, are as close to as unstoppable as this league has. Dakota Wolf, do you think Edwards Alaire will be back before the playoffs? We'll see. Uh, depending on when you're watching this, we may have a clearer picture on his injury status. The initial x-rays were negative, so that's a positive sign. Good news is, is Daryl Williams is a capable back. Uh, I like what I've seen from Derek Gore, especially as a receiving back, weirdly enough, when he's gotten a chance to play. And it sounds like Jarrett McKinnon could return uh, to the active roster soon. So if you were going to suffer an injury to a starter at a position, that's probably a spot running back for this team if that's not a big loss. Luis Duque, how much is Byron Pringle going to want on his contract? That's a good question. I think he'll someone will pay him more than the vet minimum. I could see him getting four or five million because he's a great kickoff returner. And I think this year he's proven while he's certainly not a number one and maybe he's not a number two, he's a great like number three receiver. He's good after the catch. Now he's had a couple of untimely drops this year, uh, but uh, he's just a really solid player. I hope the Chiefs keep him. Uh, I think he you know, is the closest thing Kansas City has had to a number two receiver this year. Uh, I'd love to keep him as like a number three receiver, then go draft a number two receiver behind Tyreek Hill. That would be uh, perfect for this offense. Sasquatch, should the Chiefs trade McCole Hardman this offseason? McCole Hardman uh, has not been a number two receiver. He's, he still does his thing. He gets a ca some occasional, uh, you know, big uh, burst plays, had a touchdown against the Steelers, so that's a good sign for him. Uh, but could you trade him, maybe get like a fourth-round pick for him? I could see it happening if uh, the Chiefs uh, have kind of determined, that ah, he's probably not going to get a second contract here. Let's try and get something for him. So I wouldn't rule it out, Sasquatch, uh, but uh, certainly something to monitor. I will ask you this question. Should the Chiefs uh, – or name a player the Chiefs should trade this offseason? Maybe you think it's Hardman. Maybe you think it's someone else, Brent Clark, although Frank Clark has played better as of late. Who would you like to see the Chiefs trade this offseason? Go ahead and let me know. Also, while you're at it, click the link that's in the comments and in the description, and buy this hat and T-shirt combo. It's 50% off for only $20. Bucks. Normally it's $40. Right now it's $20. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs deal. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs deal. It's the perfect uh, after-holiday present, right? You know, you're like, ah, I got some uh, Christmas money. Boom, I'm going to rep the squad for the playoff run. You can get this shirt, this uh, hat. Good to go, baby. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs deal. Caleb Harrell, who will we face in the conference championship? Assuming the Chiefs get there, of course. Uh, kind of leaning Buffalo right now. I think they'll be the uh, the uh, the three seed, so you wouldn't play them until the conference title if 
uh, if them and uh, the Chiefs kept winning, of course, the final two weeks. Kind of feels like Chiefs-Buffalo again. I think the Colts are a team to watch out for. They're playing really well with Jonathan Taylor, and Carson Wentz is making plays when he has to, and Matt Eberflus, their defensive coordinator, has that defense playing well. So I think uh, those are a couple of teams. But uh, after the Chiefs, AFC kind of feels wide open. So we'll see who makes it to the conference title game. Jacob Kelso, should the Chiefs even uh, – should Chiefs even when CH comes back and make Daryl Williams RB1, CH is a gadget back? <sighs> Maybe. It, it depends how D-Dub runs while CH is out. Assuming CH is out, we'll see uh, what his status is. But – the problem is, is Clyde edwards Lair isn't really a gadget guy. You know, he's not a burner. He's not, he, you know, he doesn't give you, uh, he doesn't have that home run speed. He's, he's, a, he's a bowling ball. We saw that touchdown he had against the Steelers. He got stacked up at the two-yard line, and then he just bounced off it and flexed on him in the end zone for a touchdown. Like, that's who he is. He can really get you some extra yards in between the tackles, but he's not a guy, hey, give us 10 carries a game, and maybe two of them you bust for, you know, 15-plus. That's not, that's not really his game. He's like, Four yards here, seven yards here, negative one, three yards here. You know, he's that type of runner. He has four the new frontiers. Orlando Brown worth an expensive contract extension. So he's going to be a free agent, uh, but I think both sides want a new deal. <sighs> has he been amazing? No. Has he improved throughout the year? Yes. Is he getting better in this scheme? Yes. Should you re-sign him? I think so. Talking about a guy who's, what, 24, 25 years old. Uh, you traded a decent amount of assets for him. Not a crazy amount, so you could let him go, I guess. Uh, but I think that would be a mistake after trading for him. I think he has a ton of potential still, so I would keep him. Maybe you get him at a slight discount since he hasn't been just an absolute beast this year. But we'll have to see how it plays out. Sub for Chiefs, Dubs, Chiefs Kingdom. Eight in a row. Let's make it nine against the Bengals. Hit that subscribe button. If the Chiefs lose, it's probably because you didn't sub on this video. It's free. Videos almost every single day. The latest news, rumors, uh, live Q&As, uh, game previews, uh, playoff picture updates, uh, COVID updates. We do it all. YouTube.com slash Chiefs TV. Sub for Chiefs dubs. Join the movement. Let's get it popping here on the Chiefs Report. Luis, how much are we paying Pringle next year. I kind of speculated on that a minute ago. Could he get like three, four, five million? How about two years and nine million? Four and a half a year. You keep your kick returner. He can be your number three receiver. Maybe it's a slide overpay for a number three receiver, but I like he's a he's like one. He's a glue guy. You know what I mean? He knows his role and he plays it well. Those guys are valuable, so I'd like to keep him. But he might chase a bag and see if someone is willing to stretch to six or seven million a year. And if it gets that high, you're probably just gonna have to let him go. Rich King, this season weirdest NFL season. I still think last season was weirder because a lot of stadiums had no fans in it. Like fans have been in the stadiums this year, but yeah, it's, it's still weird. I mean, they're it's weird. Uh, you know, the COVID stuff is still still here. You know, we didn't know if that would be the case or not. Obviously. Um, you know, it's been it's been weird for the Chiefs in terms of they were talking twenty and zero in the off season, then they start three and four, and some people, not me, were out there saying it. This team may not make the playoffs. You know, I was concerned. I wasn't panicking though. Um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely been different, right? Like, it's you know, it's a different time right now, and we're all uh, having to live and adjust to it every single day. Cole Keller, what are the chances that Butker comes off the COVID list? I'd say pretty high. Most of the guys that enter or that are on the COVID list, uh, it was beyond 10 days from when they entered it between whenever they entered to this next game. Usually if it's 10 plus days, you clear. So I would say 75, 80%. Uh, he should be in good shape, uh, if not higher, uh, maybe even uh, higher. Depending on when you're watching this, Harrison Butker may already be off the COVID list. And obviously that's big because Elliot Fry, he ain't it. Should I have kept my beard? Producer Coop putting this one up on the screen. Like, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm I'm a beard guy. I mean, I what do you want me to say? I mean, the beard was like I felt like Ryan Fitzpatrick. It was like my my laptop is all the way up up here, and it was like touching it when I was doing these videos. I'm kidding, a little exaggeration, but uh, you know, I went from no shave November to don't shave December, and uh, I didn't quite make it uh, to January. So, you know, it's gonna grow back. Let me know why for yes or in for no. KD again, restructure Mahomes so you can sign 
uh, like Smith and Humphrey contracts. Thornhill, Hardman, thoughts on Pringle being a number two wide receiver? Number one, I'm probably not signing McCole Hardman to a new deal unless it's cheap. That's just me, though. Thornhill, he's playing better. We'll see both those guys entering last year of their rookie contracts next year. Mahomes will probably be a guy he restructured throughout his contract, so that's definitely a possibility. Uh, Trey Smith, though, he's a rookie this year. You have him under contract for three more years. You don't, you don't need to sign him to a deal. Uh, Creed Humphrey, same deal. You don't need to sign those guys right now. So two years from now, is that a conversation? Yes, but for those guys specifically, I don't, I don't think that's uh, something you really have to worry about uh, hardly at all. So we will see uh, what happens. But, yeah, I mean, look, when you sign a contract to that big of a contract for that many years, obviously restructuring it throughout the contract is probably going to happen. Follow me on Instagram, at HGramNFL. I can answer more questions over there. We can't get to them all here on these live shows, but we get to as many as we can. Give me a follow on IG, at HGramNFL, and uh, let's talk some ball. Let's have a good time as we get closer and closer to the playoffs in the AFC and the NFC, of course. Uh, a couple more here. Uh, a, B, H, I, J, I, T, C, the poly. Do you think the Chiefs will win against the Packers with Aaron Rodgers if they enter the Super Bowl? If that game, if both teams were fully healthy, I would guess the, the point spread would be like Chiefs minus two. I mean, it would be close to a pick em. Um I would pick them to beat the uh, Packers because – while the Packers have a good pass rush, they don't have an insane one. And historically, the teams that have given the Chiefs trouble in the Mahomes era are teams that can consistently get pressure with just their front four. Can the Packers do that? Maybe they can, uh, but uh, I'm not convinced that that would happen. Aiden Whiting, last question here, unless we get a super chat. Could the Chiefs trade up and select Jamison Williams as a number two receiver? Also, he is from St. Louis. Jameson Williams is an absolute burner for Alabama. I would love that. Uh, depends how high you'd have to move up. Let's say the Chiefs are drafting. If they make the AFC title game, at least, they'll be drafting 29 or lower. Uh, is Williams going to go? Where's he going to go? Top 20, probably? And it's going to cost a lot to go from, say, 30 to 17 or something like that. Uh, but I'd be intrigued by it. We know uh, Brett Beach is a very aggressive general manager.